What's up, Muscle and Strength? My name is Kyle Wilkes, also known as Sir Coach. Today we're here at Iron Revolution. I'm with my good buddy, Maddie Milkshake Thompson. We're going to be going over and through a chest workout. During the workout, we'll go over some intensifiers and some misconceptions when it comes to the different elements that factor into training. Hope you guys enjoy this workout. Let's get started. So for our first exercise today, we're going to be doing some cable flies. We're going to be using a cool grip from Prime Fitness for the CAS handles. Basically, it just fits your hand a little bit more so you don't have to fight against the grip of a normal D handle. As far as using this movement, a lot of people might use it more so to end their workouts or even in the middle of their workouts. But what you're, where you're going to use it for today is just to kind of warm up, activate our CNS, and make sure as we get into our pressing movements, we feel loose and ready to row. So now as you stretch, you want to keep tension on the pec. And then one thing I like to kind of always emphasize, we always want to kind of have a scooping motion at the very top. So while keeping those shoulders down and retracted, you're focusing more on the entire pec as your humerus comes to the center. As far as with our warm up, we're going to do one to two sets, 15 to 20 reps. We'll do some working sets here. I want to distinguish what I mean by warm up sets to working sets and failure sets. Oftentimes a lot of people think working sets are sets that are to absolute failure, but sometimes those are also sets that you're saving a rep or two in the tank. The goal today as we go into our pressing movements and our second and third compound movements, what we'll be doing is building to a top set. And getting there, we can't just get right under the bar or right into the machine and go and max out the machine. But in order to get there properly, we want to kind of touch the weight along the way, conserve all our energy to that top set, and put our maximal effort into that top set to get the most out of it. The first intensifier that we're going to be demonstrating today is going to be the rest pause set and we're going to be using the incline panada machine to demonstrate. It's a very unique machine, not often found here in the States. It is becoming a little bit more popular for sure though. We luckily have access to it so we're definitely going to use it. The reason we're going to be using a machine as opposed to free weight, not because free weight is terrible for you, but because my goal here is to get strong and I don't want to be worrying about stabilizing the weight. My goal every single week is basically progressive overload when it comes to this exercise. As far as tempo, again, we're keeping a very basic tempo. So the first rep is gonna be the same tempo as the last rep. Though it may be harder as we get to working sets, this is just the warm up to make sure everything feels right. If for some reason something feels a little off, we'll take the time to assess why, we'll adjust the seat, and then we'll go back into another warm up set. Because my positioning is good, now I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna slowly increase weight each set. I'm gonna kind of pyramid up to a top set. But in doing so, I'm not gonna continue to do 12 to 15 reps because if my goal today is four plates, if I do 12 to 15 reps all the way up and I hit one plate, two plate, three plate, three plates and a 25, I'm gonna be tapping into the resources that I could use for my top set. So your goal right now, you're gonna to go to failure, okay? I know you can fail between eight and 10. And we'll do 10 deep breaths, 15 seconds generally. Go to failure again and repeat the process one more time or until we get to our rep goal. You know what I'm saying? Our rep goal for you, we'll do 15. Hard. Come on now. Just take, just take your point. Keep going. Again. Okay, good. Slow it down. So his uh, breaths are on point with the timing. So if you're someone that's milking the clock, so to speak, obviously pay attention to the clock. But a good rule of thumb is 10 good deep breaths. We're at 14. So most definitely next time uh, Matt will come in here, he would have, definitely be able to do more than three plates in a 25 per side, maybe increasing by five, 10 pounds. We can get into the logistics of how much to increase an exercise by a little later on. He 
you failed the first set, I'm, you know, there's application where you could save one or two reps in the tank because obviously going to complete failure on that first set, you don't have much left. So if you do reserve one rep shy in the tank, you'll be able to get a little bit more of that second set. But in general, he basically performed it pretty well where he got 10 the first set, then we got four in the second set, and then he got two of that last set. So for me, I know this load is relatively heavy. It's something I can stick with as I didn't even meet my rep goal of 15. Now I could keep going one rep at a time, one rep at a time, but being that's the beginning of my workout, I know in theory for next time what I need to work on. Um, and I won't progress and go past this weight until I can accomplish this. Now a back offset doesn't necessarily mean it's any easier. The load is a little bit lighter, but the goal is still the same. I'm still moving the weight as if it's the same four plates, but instead of four plates, I'll be using three plates. Uh, Matt, instead of his three and a quarter, he'll be using about two and a quarter. Back offset, also known as more of a squeeze set, is again, we just want to make sure the muscle is firing and we're getting those hard contractions with a little bit of a lighter load. Oh, oh, three. Oh. Oh. Two. Oh. Okay. The second intensifier that we're going to be showing you guys today is the drop set. We're going to be showing this while demonstrating a barbell floor press. Pay attention to our tempo. Matt could easily just press the weight and let it slam him down. His elbows would slam against the floor. In time, his elbows would probably hurt, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to control the weight down. And at the bottom of the movement, it's really easy to be lackadaisical and to not keep tension on anything but just holding the weight. But I wanted to focus on ensuring that his triceps are engaged, his chest is still engaged. That way he just has to press the weight upon me saying the word press. In the drop set, I'm not gonna get up. You'll take the weight off. Yep. I'll use that as my kind of time to catch my breath. Make sure your mindset is right. If you need an extra minute or two, take the extra minute or two and put everything you can into this set, every single rep. A lot of people, they have the rep goal and they chase. They chase reps, never chase reps. You wanna chase quality contractions. That's what matters most. And at the end of the day, I'd rather five perfect reps than eight crappy reps that were rushed and simply for the mere sense of reaching that goal. So this is going to be the final intensifier technique that we're going to use, it's called the cluster set, and we're going to demonstrate that using the decline panata press. You add some volume, again, you're falling in the hypertrophy range, the 8 to 12 rep range that everyone's profound about through research has shown that builds the most muscle, so we're taking advantage of that with the load that we otherwise wouldn't be able to do for that duration.
You'll see cluster sets often used after a top set, so instead of that back off or squeeze set, it'd be just a different form of a secondary set. Keep going. More. Two. One more. So for our last movement of the day, I'm just gonna go right into a loaded dumbbell stretch. You can do this on really any utility bench. You can even use cables if you really prefer. I like the dumbbell because it's, it puts me in a position where I can handle a heavier load, whereas the cables, again, I can't go too heavy without fighting uh, gravity and law of science. Ready? That concludes our chest workout here today at Iron Revolution. I hope you can take some of the techniques and strategies for intensifiers and implement that into your own training. Thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe below.